I'm a ticking dynamite. I blow your candle lights. Hey, business besties. Thank you guys for coming to the family gathering today. There's something we have to talk about today. As you guys can tell by the title of this meeting, um, we're about to get ready to tap into YouTube for 2024, okay? But we have to have the meeting before 2024 starts, duh. Okay, there's still like, what, four weeks, six weeks? There's like six weeks left of the year, okay? And that is enough time to get your YouTube channel started before 2024 started. We not waiting until 2024. We're starting right now, okay? Well, you're starting. I started already, but you know what I mean. Stop. Y'all supposed to be here with me. Come on. Come on, family. Come on now. What y'all doing? So I'm going to give y'all time to go ahead and get y'all pens, get y'all notebooks, get y'all a cup of coffee or something because we might be here for a minute. I don't know yet. It depends on how y'all act. But we might be here for a minute. So go ahead and get your coffee. I'll pause the meeting so y'all can go ahead and grab y'all stuff. Pause the video. Okay. So now that y'all got y'all things, let me go ahead and prepare for the presentation. It's not a presentation. It ain't a PowerPoint. It's some notes in my notebook. But it's going to be a presentation. We're presenting. <clears throat> Hello. All right, y'all. Let's get serious. <clears throat> Let me just point this out now. I know that there's no lens in these glasses. I just popped the other one out because the other one was missing. But I felt like the, the glasses kind of went with the video. But I'm the teacher. Don't question me. <clears throat> Before we start this meeting, I just want to ask a couple of you guys. I'll probably pick like four of y'all. But I just want to ask a couple of you guys, why do you want to start YouTube? What What's the purpose behind your YouTube? Why do you want to start it? Um, I'm going to let you go. Girl, I really don't know. Girl, you don't know. Why did you raise your hand? Because I just wanted Next. to talk. Go ahead. Well, sis, I want to start my YouTube channel because I really don't have that much confidence in myself. Mm, I definitely understand. I struggle with confidence for sure when I started my YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Girl, I'm just trying to get to the bag, to be honest. Girl, I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. You know, trying to get to that bag. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. All right, last person. Um, You go ahead. I'm just trying to tell my story and change the world, honestly. You so sweet because that's that's for real what YouTube is about. Like, yeah, we can make the money. You know, we can, you know, build the confidence. But being able to inspire others and make a difference in this world... That's where it's at. See, that's why y'all my family, because y'all be knowing. Y'all be knowing. Okay. Back to it. Okay. <clears throat> so, I have three parts of this meeting. Technically four, but the fourth part is homework. Yes, y'all got homework, because you said you wanted to get started with your YouTube channel, right? And you're serious about this, right? Because I'm talking to the series. If you're not serious about this, go ahead and leave the meeting now. Go, you can leave now. I'm talking to the serious people who really want to start before the year is over. So I'm going to break it down in three parts, which is the basics, the truth, okay, especially about starting a YouTube channel. I'm going to give y'all the truth of it and then advice. So for the basics, we're going to start with equipment. So if you guys need something to record on, hello, you got your phone. If you got an iPad, you can record on your iPad, whatever has a camera, whether it's good quality, bad quality, whatever use that camera okay if you already have your own camera use your camera pick that camera up and start recording get you a tripod i highly recommend a tripod it's so ghetto trying to set up your phone or camera on other things like books and stuff the angle just don't be angling it don't be right so please invest in a tripod they are not that much and depending on what your channel is going to be about then you can get you a microphone so now we're going to go into the editing aspects of it Different apps that you can edit on is CapCut. I personally use CapCut. It is my favorite. iMovie and Final Cut Pro. I think that's the name of it. The little editing app on the MacBooks or on the computers or whatever. Yeah. And I think you can edit on Canva too. Don't quote me, but I do believe you can edit on Canva. You can use all these apps and these apps are completely free. Of course, if you want to upgrade them, then you will have to pay for that. But it's completely free and it works perfectly fine in the free version. For the music... For my intro, I usually search up um, non-copyright instrumental and I also look up R&B because I like those type of instrumentals and I just throw those into my, my intros. The music that I use in my videos, I use an app, well it's not an app, it's a website. I use a website called Thematic and so the music is free and all you have to do is copy and paste the link that they give you when you download the song 
and put that in your description box when you post the video so you won't get copyrighted. And then last but not least is thumbnails. I personally like to use Canva because Canva give you templates and can change up the thumbnail as needed and how you want to, especially if you're not good at thumbnails. So that's it for the basics. Now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the truth, okay? There's some things that we need to talk about when it comes down to starting a YouTube channel and actually continuing with the YouTube channel. Starting the YouTube channel, that's the easiest part. It's actually continuing on with it. So we're gonna talk about the truth with that. So the first thing I wanna talk about is confidence and patience. One thing about it, um, you have to find your confidence and you may not have right away. When I started my YouTube channel, I did not have confidence. I did not like showing my face. But if you had enough confidence to get yourself on camera, record, edit the video all the way through and post it, that's enough confidence to start. I promise you YouTube helped with my confidence a lot. Of course I had to do like my own personal, um, my own personal reflection to figure out why I wasn't confident, but YouTube definitely motivated me to get better with that. Also with patience, your YouTube channel may not blow up right away. You may not get the subscribers you want right away, but it's not about getting up there quickly. It's about the journey on how you got up there, building up your audience, appreciating the people who actually started from the beginning with you. So when you do get big, you don't forget where you came from. But keeping that patience, knowing that it may not happen overnight, but it's going to happen overnight. If you know, you know. What I mean by this is it's not going to happen the first night you do it. But keep going on, keep doing it, keep adding in that work, and it's literally going to happen overnight. It's just gonna happen out of nowhere. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, like this is really, this is really it. So then the next thing I wanna touch on with this part is imposter syndrome versus inspiration. And also wanna talk about finding yourself in the way and being authentic. With imposter syndrome, it's very easy to see the same thing over and over again. And you'll think, oh, that looks fun, that looks cool. That if it makes you feel uncomfortable, like you don't feel right, when you're doing it, then just stop doing it. It's just not the content for you. You know, some people do anything for money. People have a different audience. People have different support. People have different everything. Everybody is different. So if it's different to look at somebody for inspiration, like for example, if you're someone who wanna start vlogging and you see that somebody started doing um, Sunday resets and you're someone who do stuff on Sunday, like you have a natural routine, you know, you wake up, you cook breakfast, or you go out to eat, you go to church, you, um, wash you have a self-care day whatever you do you do that on your sunday okay cool now that's another content idea that you have because now you can plan out your sundays to where you're creating content and this is where i wanted to get into being authentic because if this is something that you already do like an idea that you see but from somebody if you're looking for inspiration if this is something that you already do in your life and you already have it and you just don't record content for it then do it but don't be someone who's like, oh yeah, I see that she's doing it and it's trending, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it too because then if she blew up, I can blow it too. Mm -mm. Don't do it like that, okay? Because that's going to stress you out completely. I'm gonna tell you straight up. As much as they say hop on trends, if that's something that you're not comfortable with or that's not who you were called to be or who what you was called to use your channel for or whatever the case may be, then it's not going to feel right and it's not going to do good. You gotta take it as a lesson learned. Like if your videos don't do good, there's just something that you have to change up because there are some videos that do better than the other. There's nothing wrong with looking at people. Hold on. All right, y'all, my bad. We had a little interruption in the meeting, but we back. Next thing I want to talk about is self-discipline and how to stay consistent on YouTube, but also how to get serious with YouTube as well. I feel like self-discipline and consistency go hand in hand. If you do not have discipline in your everyday life, then YouTube is gonna be hard for you. If you don't have discipline in anything that you do, if you're the type to start something but never finish, YouTube is gonna be very hard for you and very hard for you to grow. So you need to make sure that you're disciplining yourself and you also need to make sure that you are releasing things that are no longer important no more. And I also want to say this earlier when it comes down to your iPhone, because I don't want to hear no excuses of I don't have any storage or none of that. If you want to record your videos, you want to delete some things on your phone that you don't need no more. It's as simple as that. Whatever you don't need no more, whatever you don't use, whatever is just taking up space, just sitting there trying to look cute, delete it. It's gone. You can't sit here welcoming something new if you still got something that you ain't supposed to have, do the old stuff, to bring in the new stuff, okay? When it comes down to getting serious with YouTube, 
don't beat yourself up about it don't feel like you got to post 15,000 times a week don't feel like you got to post every single day make a schedule for yourself if you know that you're someone who's busy and you're looking at youtube as like a side hustle or just something that you're doing for the fun for the meantime as a hobby if you know that you are busy discipline yourself to do once a week post a video once a week say that you're gonna record a video on monday and you want to have it posted by friday or something because they give you all week to edit or say you want to record the video uh sunday and then have it posted next sunday when it comes around so you already have it and then you know you're busy throughout the week so you can spend the weekend editing there's nothing wrong with recording content ahead of time and editing it when you can and getting it posted next i want to talk about the purpose finding the purpose of your youtube channel and this goes into your audience as well and this is why i asked you the question earlier i really want y'all to think about this because when you are doing your youtube channel you want to reach exactly who you want to reach you want the people who's actually going to engage with your channel this to become a community you want this to be a family so you need to figure out who do those people look like for me what i like to do when it comes down to my audience i look for people that used to be like me i'm looking for people who went through the same thing or is going through the same thing that i have went through and giving them the tips and advice that i have learned to get me to the point that i am today i want to attract the people who don't have confidence in themselves or are struggling to find confidence in themselves who want to start a business, who's a college student and trying to figure out a way to make extra money, who's a high school student who want to get started on a business, college want to get started on a business. Like there's so many people that I know I specifically want to reach. So that's why I make content for those different people. But at the end of the day, it's because we're all a community. We all have the same goal, but we have different journeys. And that also helps when it comes down to creating content, because if you know exactly who you're making the content for, I would want to make things that I know that I would want to watch, but I also pay attention to what I know that I'm supposed to do in my life. I know that I have business stuff coming up. I know that I have school stuff coming up. I'm trying to show people who is trying to go down that same path or who needs inspiration or need help or doing research. That's why it's important to really know who your audience is and also know the purpose of your YouTube channel so that you can fulfill that purpose and you won't get bored with doing your YouTube channel or you won't get discouraged or none of that. And then the last thing, um, I really didn't touch up on consistency, but consistency is whatever you determine it to be. So that's it for the truth part. Like this is stuff that I wish I would have known when I started YouTube, but I'm glad that I know it now so I can share this information with you guys because technically I'm just getting started again. So this is like a brand new chapter for me. So yeah. So now we're going to go into the advice. We're almost done with the meeting y'all. I told y'all if y'all had any plans, y'all should have canceled it because this meeting is, it's going. So now for the advice part. This is a couple of pieces of advice that I have when it comes down to starting your YouTube channel and continuing on with your YouTube channel. When you're doing your channel, start it off as like a hobby. I know if your goal is to go in and make money and your goal is to um, boost up your confidence or your goal is to just do something, but start it off as a hobby. Because if it's something, I said this in my last video, if it's something that you're looking into like as a job or a side hustle, you're gonna feel stressed and feel the need to always do it. And then it's not gonna be fun anymore and YouTube is supposed to be a fun place. Like it's very serious, but it's supposed to be a fun place at the same time next piece of advice of course is don't compare your growth to others you don't know what type of support system people got you don't know what type of audience they already had you don't know nothing about anything besides what you're seeing on social media so don't compare yourself to nobody else's growth pace yourself move at your own pace you're gonna get to the finish line when you get there but just enjoy the journey until you get there okay don't rush it if you rush it you're not going to enjoy it it's all about enjoying it you're gonna trust me you're gonna enjoy the process and the journey this is a huge one i don't know who who do this but don't join those facebook groups but learn how to network those facebook groups do not help you grow um you can't it's not really worth promoting most people aren't really paying attention they just want to do a subscribe for subscribe engage for engage they're not really intrigued with your content for real for real do you will find some of your people that is i promise you but there be groups that have over thousands of people in it and you're only getting what two subscribers out of that and it's a waste of time those subscribers more than likely aren't real genuine supporters so just continue to promote on your own personal page and then learn how to network don't be afraid to reach out to other youtubers that stay in your city don't be scared to reach out to people you never know who's willing to work with you or who's already watching you and ready to work with you they're just scared to reach out so just go ahead and do it you never know you really never know the worst they can say is no literally 
And last but not least is be prepared and always prepare yourself for the good and for the bad. Because like I said earlier, you never know when you never know when it's going to happen. It can happen literally overnight. You go to sleep one night, wake up the next morning and you got thousands of subscribers. You're finally eligible to get monetized. You got all these comments. You got all these people supporting you. It can literally just take that one video or that one time and it's up. Always be prepared for that. One thing that I love telling myself is even if I'm having a bad day today, I never know what the end of the day can hold and I never know what tomorrow can hold. Even though as of right now, it feels, uh, I'm starting to doubt myself. Let me just wait it out. Let me just keep going. But also realize as you're rising to the top, there's more people that's going to try to bring you back down. You're going to have your negative comments. You're going to have your hate comments. And all I can say to that is kick them out your community. You already know the type of community that you have. You already know what you want to accept in your community. You are in charge of your community. If it's someone who ain't allowed in there, kick them out. We don't give her no time. We don't give her no attention. We're not wasting time on the negative comments. We're not wasting time on the hate comments. Because obviously, they don't have anything better to do with their lives. If you know you're not doing anything with spreading light and positivity and just being fun, and they're just sitting here bringing that darkness, that's not the type of people you want in your community. Bye. See ya. So just always be prepared for that because you literally never know it's going to be good and bad. But not, do not get discouraged. In fact, always stay encouraged because you literally just never know. You just have to have that faith and know that it's going to happen one of these days. It's meant for you. Okay? Actually, I lied. That was not the last piece of advice. The last piece of advice, consult God with everything when it comes down to your YouTube channel. Just in October alone, I would have never thought that I will be doing like this in november off of my youtube channel make sure that you're staying calm you're staying still you're not doing things off of impulse you're not doing things out of reaction because you feel like you have to do more or you have to do something else so it can go a little faster because it's not going to work like that so stay patient that's the main thing stay patient and put your trust in god and just know that everything is going to work out because it's meant for you too okay so that's ending the meeting right now but before I end the meeting, I did tell y'all earlier that y'all have homework. Yes, y'all do. And the homework is simple, y'all. So as soon as this meeting is over, you guys already have your pen and paper out still. Yes, you better. As soon as this meeting is over, I want you guys to go ahead and do this homework assignment and then come back to this video. Type this down in the comments below, okay? Your homework assignment is to find your passion on what your YouTube videos will be about, your YouTube channel will be about, and who your audience is who are you trying to reach also explain why you want to start a youtube channel what is your reason of wanting to start a youtube channel and then after you do that you do not have to put this part in the comments but keep it for later because um we might need it at another family gathering brainstorm different ideas that you will want to record different content that your audience might like just post videos like you're posting for yourself so now that I done explained the homework assignment to y'all, make sure y'all come back after y'all finish the assignment and let me know and put your answers down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this meeting. We're going to be having more family meetings like this. Well, family gatherings, I like to call them, but it's a meeting at the same time. We're going to have more of these. We got to lock in before 2024. We rising up. We on top now. We 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 going up. We got we to gotta stick together and make sure that we have these meetings at least weekly. I'll try to have these meetings at least weekly with y'all, check in with y'all, see what y'all doing. And we talk business, all right? Does that sound like a plan to y'all? Cool? Well, I'll see y'all in the next meeting. Y'all dismissed. Y'all have a good night. See y'all in the next meeting, okay?